They've been protesting for nearly two months. Students at the Central University of Caracas try to cross police lines to send the government a message. They want immediate changes in economic policies. When we graduate, we won't have jobs. We want to send proposals because they always tell us we are destabilizing the country. But they say there is no place for talks with the government until the police stop repression. President Nicolás Maduro has been proposing a dialogue since December to tame down discontent around the country. These students say they don't believe in President Maduro's calls for dialogue because every time he has said he would sit down with the political opposition, he has called them cowards. Since February, protests have left at least 39 people dead, hundreds wounded and dozens arrested. The opposition has sabotaged talks, especially the violent sectors who have tried unsuccessfully to oust the government. The Vatican has offered to help both sides come to an understanding, but it could be complicated as the Venezuelan Organization of Bishops, known to be critical of the government, says Maduro is seeking a totalitarian rule. Members of the coalition of political opponents say they're open for talks if the Vatican mediates. But politician Maria Corina Machado says first, the government must free politician Leopoldo Lopez immediately, end repression and disarm pro-government militants. There's no way Venezuelan people is going to believe that there is true willingness to, to move along in any dialogue if gas del bueno, I mean, gas, toxic gas, is being thrown throughout our cities. Members of the Union of South American Nations who met in Caracas last week said both sides should stop the violence and moderate their language. They'll meet in Caracas on Monday to once again try to bring both sides to the negotiating table. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Caracas, Venezuela.